Welcome back Kiwi Yonkers and all other folk to Sunsaw Gaming. Um, today we have a request from a player called Tisrugi. Uh, I hope I pronounced that right. Um, and he's requested some lower tier tanks. So he's asked for the Stug 3G. Um, now this tank here it is, a lot of people say the armor is great, but it's not. Um, it's very unreliable. As you can see, it, where that uh, viewport is on the front and on the opposite side of the gun on the left of it is very weak. Um, massive, massive track wheels, which means you're going to get tracked, you're going to get shot, and that lower plate is also very, very soft. Um, so we're going right into the stats here, 604 hit points, 80 armor on the front of the hull, and the sides of 30, so the armor is not that great. Now, the concealment is awesome, 77 while stationary, it is a very good amount. A damage per minute of 1600, reload time of just under 6 seconds, and your armor piercing rounds do 150, which is very, very decent. Um, your APCR doing 194, and on your damage you've got 164 AP damage, which is, which is pretty decent. And you've got 7 degrees of gun depression, so make sure you're using that when you use this tank. Um, now, you go in here and you see average speed there of 36 it has a very good power to weight ratio and is, is quite maneuverable. Um, so we're going to go straight to some matches here. Now you'll see I play this tank really aggressively. Um, it can snipe, it does snipe very, very well, but it's just not how I play the tank. I do like to play it very aggressively and I can't stress the fact that you have to aim for track shots with this tank. If you want to do maximum damage, if you want to be able to pump out that damage and do a lot of hurt to the enemy team, you you have to aim for track shots. Track your opponents, and you'll see me do it as often as I can. Now I'm going to push up into the center of the map here because I've got a heavy out on the left and I don't want to leave him alone. I want him to have support. I also have a medium that is following in behind me. So I'm not alone, I'm, I'm staying with my team, I'm staying with support. Now I did get spotted there but none of their tanks are in a position currently to be able to hit me. So I'm just going to stay here, I'm going to wait for this Panzer 4D to make that mistake right there. And I'll pump nice around it into him and he thinks twice of pushing forward to help his team. So you can see at the moment we, we have map control. Um, our team up the top are holding off the majority of their team, I've got some cross shots and I'm lit again. Now, I'm glad that Churchill one had a stock gun on him, because if he had the big gun, he would have put around straight through my tank. Um, and right here, you're going to see, I, I was aiming for the Churchill, but I managed to hit the T1 Heavy's track, that stops him. And with the, with the pin on this gun now, with the uh, TD update, you can see that T1 Heavy is quite soft. Now, there you go, hitting the Churchill, stopping him in his tracks, making it so as he has to use his repair kit, and I was able to get a reload and clear him out. So that just goes to show how hitting track wheels on tanks is very essential. If I didn't hit that track wheel, he would have left, and I wouldn't have been able to hurt him. Now, T1 Heavy, again, I've hit his track wheel. I didn't want him backing off. I didn't want him getting out of there, and I've managed to finish him off. So... I've still got these two with me, we are, I, I still have support, so I'm going to push in aggressively once again, just staying low, um, and I'm going to get a shot into this guy, now he's going to back off because my teammate are, teammates are pushing up behind me, and he's not willing to take too much damage, now, unfortunately I'll leave that Panzer 4 or 5 on 1 HP, but we're going to clear him in just a second there, and then we're going to move on to this issue 85B, I mean, get a nice lucky snapshot into him but you can see I, I push aggressively with my teammates um, if I had done that alone there's no doubt I would have died so stay with your teammates use use that reload just hit people's track wheels I mean this thing has such great pin on it you don't have to worry too much now that's class 2 1361 damage and 4 kills so I hope that uh, gives you a little bit of insight on how the Stug is played. Now we do have another match coming up, and I mean right there, 12 shots fired, 12 hits, 12 pins, very accurate, very high pin tank. Just don't rely on its armor, don't get shot, and you will do really, really well on this thing. 
Um, we're going to move on to a, another match here. And we're going into Copperfield. So, tier 5 match, as usual, which is all good. Now, we've only got one heavy on our team to their two heavies. I'm not going to stay up here and fight those heavies. I'm going to I'm going to go off to the left. It's You've got to be aware of your team. Um, you've got to be aware of the enemy team's lineup. And you've got to be aware of the map. Now, a Stug is going to do best when it's not in direct line of fire. Uh, you basically want to try and keep this thing at the back of the at the back of your team. You you don't want to be taking the damage in this. You want to be dealing it out. It is not a frontline tank. It is very much a support role tank. Now I'm aware I I play very aggressively. Um, just give that stug a little uh, that spike a little nudge just to let him know you know you shouldn't be sitting this far back, buddy. Um, and we're just gonna have a little look around. We've we're getting no shots here. We're getting no shots. So we are going to push forward, we're going to move up, we're going to look for the shots. Now I'm well out of their view range, most of the enemy are over that side of the map, which means there's a low chance that I'm actually going to get spotted, which is why I'm able to move up quite as as aggressively as I am here. Now our medium on the inside there, he's, he's looking at pushing forward, he's looking at doing some damage. Uh, unfortunately I hit the dirt while aiming for that medium, but I mean these things happen. Um, now I'm trying to hit his track wheel, but he's just rocking back and forward, and at this distance, it's it's difficult to hit that track wheel. So, oh, here's a nice juicy target, KV-1. There you go, that's that track wheel I was telling you about. Now he's going to turn, I'm going to hit his track wheel again, and force him to stay in one place. Because, if we can keep a tank out in the open, not moving, even if you don't do the damage, it's going to help your team. So aim for those track wheels, and I'm going to keep saying it. Those track wheels are bread and butter to your stug. So, the enemy's hurting here. My mediums and lights are pushing right around on their spawn flank. And I'm just going to try and clear out this this KV-1. Because, I mean, he's a solid tank. He's a very dangerous tank. Um, I am aware that there are a lot of enemies with shots on me at the moment. But my teammates are taking most of the flak. Now... I did take a shot there, but I wanted to clear the second tank, which is what you should do. If you've got the hit points, and you can clear a very dangerous tank, clear the tank and then get yourself out, out of the way. Now, this is this is basically over for the enemy team here. Um, as you can see, the stug, using its momentum, its speed, I should say, its maneuverability, and its insane penetration value it's it's tier 5 I mean it's it's best to play this thing aggressively in my opinion but like it like I say it is accurate enough to be able to snipe across the map um, it does not lose too much penetration with uh, over distance it's it's got a decent shell velocity on it which keeps those shells straight and true and if you want to snipe snipe in it by all means but be ready to push and be aggressive because your team needs that support from a stug so there we go 1600 damage class one another four kills there and i mean there's not much more i can say about this tank it is low tier um if you like this content like and subscribe to my video please guys uh and i'll keep these videos coming make requests i will do them until next time stay safe use cover